Good morning, cousin. It's Monday. We have to have a little talk about punctuality, cousin. But first, I think I'm going to get at least part of a night's sleep. All right. Hello again. It's Monday again. As you well know, Bunny, we're supposed to be posting our videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. Last week, Friday was your turn. And let's see, when did we get our video? Oh yeah! 11 o'clock last night! Now, I know I gave you an extra day because of circumstances, but I'm going to have to punish you. Now, Bunny, as you can see here, I have a juicer. I don't know if you have a juicer in your house, but I do know something you have. It's called a magic bullet. So, Bunny, here's your assignment. While I'm here juicing my apples and carrots, I need you to take a little trip to your local Giant Eagle or supermarket or wherever you decide to go. Pick up, you know, the cheapest leftover Easter candy you can find. Maybe steal some of the bulk candy from the bulk candy aisle at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I want you to make an Easter basket smoothie. Peeps must be included. Now, I mean, I'm not going to get into specifics with what else you have to put in as long as you've got the Easter candy in there. I mean, you're good to go. But you don't just have to make it, Bun. You've got to drink it on camera. And that's what I want to see. It's loud. And it anyway, what I really want to be talking about is books for this entire week. Theme established books. Namely, books we've read, books we're reading. For instance, I'm currently reading American Gods by Neil Gaiman. It's fantastic. Actually, it's about a guy named Shadow who has a run-in with all of these gods that were brought over from different countries and different cultures when they moved to America and then forgotten about as modern gods like uh, television and internet take over. Horse Boy. It sounds ridiculous, just like Lion Boy sounded ridiculous, but Lion Boy was absolutely amazing. The Horse Boy is about a little autistic child. It's about how he goes on a trek with shamans in Mongolia, which has to be awesome. I can't wait to read it. This is the little boy Rowan, and he's lined up all of his toy animals and just looks at them. And here he is playing with a lamb. And here he is shoving a little peep into his face. Tell me that's not adorable! I guess what I'm trying to say, cousin, is what kind of books have the most effect on you? For instance, here I have a shelf of the most important books in my collection. We've got The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Now, a lot of people tend to dislike this, but I thought that it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Feed I have not yet read, but I'm told it's absolutely amazing. What I don't have on here, and I really should, is the collection of John Green books I have read. Uh, Looking for Alaska, An Abundance of Catherines, Paper Towns, and just recently Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which I really need to get. And that's really all I have for my video today, cousin. So, uh... I'm getting this up as soon as I can because I'm really, really late and I don't want to be punished. I love you. I miss you. Bye.